Hey everybody, Savajade here, and welcome to my first day as a premium player in DDO. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of players that say, get now, because I don't have either the class or the race that those characters are. And also, I didn't realize that um, on the ca character screen, um, Transport to Eberron and Transport to Forgotten Realms was a special thing for VIP only. So if you want the Hall of Heroes passport feature, it costs 7.95 DDO points, and I'm gonna pass on that one. But for my characters, um, right now I have 21 character slots available. I used to have 27 character slots, so I lost six going from VIP down to premium. Um, and it appears that I didn't need to get rid of all the bank characters that I had. But I guess I threw away a bunch of junk or sold a bunch of junk that I didn't really need in this process of going from VIP to premium. So now I have five characters that I don't have access to and I'm gonna have to decide what I want to do with them. Um, one of them's a gnome and I like her. Uh, I don't play her as much as I should. She's a gnome. Uh, let me see my notes here. Gnome, Ranger, Rogue, Artificer. And then I have three um, characters that are some kind of monk. One of them is my main halfling monk, and I'm definitely going to have to get her. So I'm going to buy the, mo the gnome at some point and the monk at some point. Monk is my first priority. The last one that I don't have is... Bronwyn, she's my um, crafter, and I'm not really interested in the half-elf race, but I need her because she's my crafter, so when a half-elf goes on a fantastic sale, I'm going to get her out. But I thought I'd go into the character creation screen so you can see what I have available and what I don't have available from going from VIP to premium. So in melee, the only thing I don't have available is monk because out of all of these, fighter, barbarian, and paladin are free. Monk is the only one that's not free. And then over in special, um, the only one I don't have available is warlock. That's because favorite soul, I earned twenty five hundred favor total favor on. The Arganist and server on one character. So I unlocked Favorite Soul. And then Druid, I earned, I got that through the Menace of the Underdark pack, that expansion. So that's why I don't have to buy that one. Um, then in Specialist, Ranger Rogue Bard are free. Artificer, I got by getting 150 house C favor on Arganison. And Alchemist, honestly, that must have come with a pack. So that did that come with Sharn? It must have come with Sharn. But I'm glad because I like Alchemist. Alright. And then Iconics. I got the Iconics with the Shadowfell Conspiracy, but the Deep Gnome came after that. So I guess they didn't just lump that off, that with the Deep Gnome. I mean, the Deep Gnome in with all the other Iconics. The reason I have Tiefling Scoundrel is because I bought Sharn, and the Razorfall Shifter, I guess, came with Feywild. I think that's right. I know the Tiefling Scoundrel came with Sharn. I'm sure the Razor Flower Shifter came with Feywild. If I'm wrong, somebody please let me know. And then um, let's pick uh, Melee Fighter. We'll go next. Next. Races. I have six that I don't have unlocked Dragonborn, Wood Elf, Gnome, Half Elf, Half Elf, and Warforged. And as I said before, half elf, someday I'm going to have to unlock that so I can get my crafter out. The only one I'm really, really interested in is the gnome, so I'm going to get that. 
So out of all of this, the two I'm really interested in, the monk and the gnome, they're my top priorities. And then half elf eventually. And then somewhere down the line, deep gnome I'll get out because I just like gnomes. All right, so let's get out of here and go check out a character and head over to the bank. Because the next thing that was important in downgrading from VIP Hey, where's the bank go? Hey, I have some lag going on here. There we go. Downgrading from VIP to premium is bank space. All right, bank. It's right here. So I used to have 190. I already bought the 10 at the beginning. So now I have 170. So I'm able to put stuff in and out of the bank. And I am also able to deposit stuff into the platinum into and out of the bank. So I am good to go with the bank. And the other thing that's really important going from VIP to premium is the monster manual. And I used to have seven monster manuals, P through seven, so it was really eight. But um, as you can see, I only have two, and my character's new. She's only level two, so she doesn't have very many character deeds going on here. Um, she has, I must have killed some. Nothing, I killed nothing. <laughs> really, I did kill things. I've been out here in the borderlands. No, I didn't kill there. I killed vermin. No, I didn't kill vermin. I killed animals. I killed rats. There, see, I did kill something. Um, <laughs> but my question is, when I buy this, because um, each monster manual is 595 video points, I'm going to buy them when they're on sale. Um, so if I buy monster manual 2, um, are my account deeds going to be filled in already because I've done them? Or do I start out at zero again? I know volume eight, because it'll have an eight here, right? This one is not going to have anything filled in because that just came out. But two through seven should have a whole bunch filled in because I've already done a whole bunch. All right, and then um, I, use the code they gave us last year to get all the adventure packs all the way up through Keep on the Borderlands. So I have all those adventure packs and um, s most of my characters have had three TRs or more, like Saba here. Um, she has all these epic past lives, not too many heroic past lives, um, not too many iconic, because I pick and chose those, but she has all the racial past lives. I did one screw up on her racial past life, though, and it was, oh, I thought it was at the beginning. No, I have three Asmar. It was the gnome. I thought I was all done. And in my spreadsheet, I didn't even look at it because I thought I was done. And I TR'd her back into a halfling because I thought my racial past lives were all done. And I was like cheering. And I came out here to the keep. And then I opened up my spreadsheet. <laughs> and it said, you have one more known past life. And I was like, what? I was just so upset with myself, but that's how it goes. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use one of those um, wishes or whatever where you can, when you're at 20 and you do a TR, you can say you were a gnome even though you played your life as a halfling. I'm going to do that when I TR the next time. Alright, so um, I'm going to test out to make sure that 
I really do have all those packs, even though it says it in my account history that I do, I'm going to get out of here and get on somebody who is higher level and check it out as a challenge in the challenges. Um, Mary Jade's already. Uh, before I went premium, I stuck a Mary Jade over in house C, ready to go into a challenge. My favorite challenge over in house C. Because the challenge packs were part of all this free stuff they gave away last year. And my favorite challenge is this one right here. Lava Caves. Time is money. And I'm not going to run it. I'm just going to see if I can... Yeah, I can get in. So everything looks good. So the premium's happening. <laughs> I'm going to see how it goes. Um, but it doesn't seem... All my characters are going to be able to go into quests on Elite because they all have three or more past lives. Um, I'm going to buy Monk. I'm going to buy no. The others are going to wait for time. And then I'm going to concentrate on buying the monster manuals whenever they go on sale. So it looks like it should be an easy transition. Well, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in DDO and all the other games that the Damsel and I play. I hope you're watching us on the Damsel's Game. Thank you.